Every three months, the government releases the GDP, aka our gross domestic product. It's a monster of a number, upwards of $15 trillion, and it's considered the best gauge of our overall economic health. But coming up with the GDP is tricky business, because the number is constantly getting adjusted after the fact, which means that in any given moment, it can give a false read. So what goes into the GDP? Well, think of it as every dollar we spend, every jumbo jet and juice box, every hour spent at the doctor's office, and every ounce of gas spent heating your home. It's pretty comprehensive, but sometimes the number of tickets sold to the zoo isn't quite right, or the number of new houses built in Boise gets overestimated. To correct for those mistakes, the government issues three separate versions of the GDP. The first one is called Advanced GDP. It almost always gets the biggest revisions, it doesn't include a lot of trade or inventory, so it's pretty much a rough guess. A few months later, the government revises the GDP again, this time with a lot more accuracy. Then, a full three months after the first report, the government releases another, quote, final update, appropriately dubbed the final report. But it's not really final either. In fact, old GDP estimates are revised constantly. Last year, the government went all the way back to 1929, adjusting the numbers it missed the first time around. These latest revisions revealed, after a better factoring in of things like research and development and entertainment, that the massive U.S. economy is even more massive than we originally thought. By some estimates, we may have been a full 3%. That's almost half a trillion bucks off all along.